Welcome back to Sip This Alley Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And one of the reasons why I think we took that L to the Cleveland Browns was third down inefficiency. The Cleveland Browns were 8 for 15 on third downs uh, Sunday afternoon. More than 50% on third downs. That's And I call third down the money down because third down is offensively, it can extend drives, give you more opportunities to score. Defensively, can get guys off the field and give your offense more opportunities to score. They took advantage of the money down. They were eight for fifteen on those in those situations. I want to take a look at the eight third downs that they converted and see what we were doing wrong and what we maybe should have did to try to get them off the field. Welcome back to Sip the Tatter Films. Run the intro. All right, welcome back, and let's get into the uh, third down situations from um, Sunday. Uh, I'm going to give you the situation first, and then we'll go through it. So, like this very first one, it was third and four in the first quarter, six minutes and 42 seconds left. We're on the negative 48, negative 48. Let's take a look at it. They need four yards. We give them a, a even front, two backers, nickel, two safeties, two high look. And most chub in the backfield. So they got trips right with Jen, Njoku on the bottom by himself. So we technically like we got three guys covering Njoku. And then we got three on the guys at the top. But Kyle Hamilton is so far off. And like, I mean, we try to disguise everything, but in my eyes, and I don't even remember what's going to happen on this play, but in my eyes, I just run this right there to the sticks and turn around. That's what I would do. I don't know if that's what they do here, but that's what I would do. Let's see. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? So simple. So simple. Third and four. Why, why are we giving free releases? And I remember mentioning mentioning this during the uh, during the game in the watch party. Why are we giving free releases? Why do we have four guys on over here? One, two, three, four, four. They're one, two receivers. Then at the top, we got three guys for three receivers. It, it don't make sense. Like, what is what what kind what kind of call is this? What's the purpose? I can I can make this throw at 47 and out of shape. It's a five yard throw. Snap it to me. Give me that open lane. I can make that throw. And I'm not playing. I can still make that throw. Let's go to the next one. So the next situation, it's third and five in the first quarter. Two minutes and 52 seconds left. And and to, uh, one more thing about that first play, it's quick game, so the pass rush is almost null and void because James called it and threw it. Like so, no need to look at the pass rush on that one. This is third and five, first quarter, two forty two, from the positive twenty five for them. Man to man coverage, like cover one. Yeah, cover one, everybody's straight cover one. You got your deep player in Eddie Jackson. Your whole player is Roquan. Roquan's trying to play Jameis' eyes. And look, look how Jameis moves Roquan with his with his eyes. Jameis looking at the bottom of your screen down here. He's looking down here. And then you see Roquan start to, to focus that way. Watch Roquan move that way. Now he comes back to the top side with all this open space left. All this open space in here. So he opened up this hole for the, for the dig by moving Roquan with his eyes. And then we got, who is this getting beat one-on-one? -on -one? That's Jalen Loma Davis. If you're Jalen Loma Davis, how do you give up inside leverage on an inside route? That's horrible. We saw last week, and I even got a short about it, 
Nate Wiggins playing inside leverage and playing it perfectly. Marlowe even played inside leverage on somebody a couple weeks ago and got an interception for it. You got inside leverage. You sitting inside and you give up an inside breaking route? That's crazy. And everybody else actually has good coverage. Everybody else actually has good coverage. But I also you say I also say this part. Being the free safety. I know he reading eyes, but he still gotta be scanning. He gotta be scanning. He gotta be scanning left to right. And he see nobody's a real threat but this one. And when he sticks his foot in the ground to come across, you got to start to come up. You got to start to come up. He just late. Y'all almost too deep and kind of slips. Let's go to the, the next scenario, man. This one is third and nine. So pass rush should be a pass rush should should factor into this one. Third and nine, second quarter, two minutes and fifty two seconds. Got everybody in in the front in the line in our show look. Dropping Kyle Vinoy out. Dropping Hamilton out to be the post safety. Sending Marlette. And so Eddie Jackson, and this is the kind of stuff that uh, Kurt uh, B, I'm not really sure how to pronounce his name, used to be a quarterback for the Packers. This kind of stuff he's talking about. So they're sending, sending this guy. That's too big. They're sending this guy. And then he has to cover that guy. So what if he run a quick out? He, he can't cover that. That's the unsound stuff he was talking about. And so now because it's a longer breaking route, he's on it. But, so that's fine. And it's just Brandon Stevens just getting beat on the end cut. Like, Brandon is looking at the quarterback. So, in my eyes, and if, if I'm wrong, defensive defensive people, tell me I'm wrong. But in my eyes, if the cornerback is focusing on the quarterback, that's normally zone. All these other people are in man. No, they're in zone too. So, did, did this guy... Come too far down? Was he supposed to come to this this hook curl right here? And he just jumped this too much? That's that's my conclusion. So everybody else dropping to his own. And he came way down straight to Elijah Moore. But if it's not, who has the middle of the field? So we blitzing one, two, three, four, five. Are we giving up a zone? So we're just trying to match and leave an open void. Too many questions. Too many questions. And, you know, to have the complete answer, you you need to be in the room and know the call. So I'm I'm trying to guesstimate. And anybody else that's, that run these, are, they trying to guesstimate as well, too, because they're not in the room. They don't, they don't know the calls. But it don't look good. It don't look good. All right, this next situation. What about the pass rush for that play? Did we get any pass rush on the last play? And this, this is a five-man blitz. We ran five. Tried to run a stunt. Just unsuccessful. Tavis get blocked on that end. The center takes care of whoever that is that knows. I can't. Oh, that's Roquan. The center takes care of Roquan. Uh, the stunt don't get don't get home. Now BK comes free late, but the ball's out by then. And then Arthur Marlette runs into the left tackle, who's twice his size. He technically slap him in the face. Watch this. Wow. Keep going. For we'll be here all day. All right, this situation is third and four in the third quarter. 13-12 left. They're on the, look like, 50-yard line. 
So we're showing them too high from the jump, which is what we try to do a lot. And this, like, I get, well, we show them too high, but give them a man look because the back was out here. And then that was Trenton Simpson out here. So that normally it indicates man. So they move the back in and Trenton comes down to right here. And so now I have no clue what we in, but we're going to find out in a second. So the indication was, hey, this man. Now Trent's on edge. Oh, Jabu's, uh, uh, I'm sorry, in, in, in Jabu. No, not in Jabu. What's, it, that, what's that man's name? I can't think of his name. The tight end for Cleveland. And Joku. And Joku's the, <laughs> the uh, um, tight end at the top right there in front of Trent. So like, yeah, we still playing man. So where, where is Jalen Loma Davis going? This is Jalen Loma Davis right here. Where is where is he going? He got fooled by the the end cut by Jerry Judy. That's where he's going. He got fooled by the end cut from Jerry Judy. Marlette got fooled by the, the route from the end cut, like the, the, the break by Elijah Moore. And then Kyle got Kyle Helmet, the guy, his guy at the bottom. So the, the two corners got abused by the releases. Elijah Moore and Jerry Judah were better than the corners we put out there. Um Sunday. They were better. All right. Our uh, third one, QB sneak. Third one, third quarter, 11 29, just a QB sneak. They got it easily. Next one is third and five, third quarter from 206. 206. Give, giving them a too high look again. This is the one where the communication issues show up. Uh, Calvin Noah and Ojabu, Calvin Noah and Owe are on the same side, and they, everybody's telling them to move over, move over, move over. So, man, BK, Owe switch sides. Jay Norman Davis gives up a free release on a slant. Like, I, what? And and by looking at Jay Norma Davis's reaction, by looking at his reaction, I still think that this was still a communication thing. Look how he, he fades off the slant. He don't even drive on it like he's expecting help inside. And now when they throw the ball, he was like, what? And at that point, he goes cool. So to say that there are not communication issues, that's baloney. That's still baloney to me. Next one. Another quarterback sneak, 31. This is in the fourth quarter, eight minutes and one second left in the fourth quarter. Another quarterback sneak, which they get easily. And then the last one is third and seven in the fourth quarter with one minute and 18 seconds left. I don't understand this. The game's on the line. It's third and seven. This is kind of fringe field goal range. So if he has to kick a field goal from here, it's 57 yards. This is fringe field goal range. And look how far off we, we're trying to play sticks. And these guys specifically, hold on, wrong button. Specifically this guy, he's going to bag up. He's already won yard and a half behind the sticks. So why would you bag up at all on the snap of the ball? Why would you bag up at all? So it's definitely blitz zero. Tavius comes clean, but because we don't press and give them a free release, James just catches and throws out a timing out. That's it. They said we get through that. We get through there because we're bringing more than they can block. But because we don't have pressure, we don't have guys. We don't have this guy up, this guy up, this guy up. 
this guy up. It's free. These are free yards. Free yards. He just catches it, throws it, takes the lead from Tavius. Easy. This is an easy first down because of the coverage. This is horrible. This is complete and utter BS what we're putting on tape for, you know, or the position we're putting these players in, man. This is Coach Evans with the Tyler Films, man. This is the the crap we're putting out there defensively. If we can't stop people on money down, we're not going to win games. We're 5-3. and three. Yeah, we got a darn good offense, but the defense is going to keep giving it up. I'm going to keep calling them the Kardashians, man. So I appreciate y'all for uh, tuning in. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share, man. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace and love. Oh, remember the motto, FTMF. Film, then more film. Peace.